If you've never been to a Freddy's Frozen Custard restaurant, you don't know what you're missing. Chances are that if you're not from the Midwest, you didn't know that such a place existed. There are approximately 460 Freddy's in 37 states, stretching from California to Florida, but the chain is mostly concentrated in Texas, Kansas, and Colorado. There are no Freddy's where I live in California, so my visits have been limited. My first experience was one in San Antonio, Texas in 2010, and again in 2015, followed by one in Colorado Springs in 2018. It was there that I learned I'm not the only one wanting to grab a spoon and go to town. My grandchildren love the place. Death grip on it. He's got it. I can't get it away. There we go. Is that so yummy? So when I went to visit my son in Austin, Texas in October, I made sure we stopped by to indulge myself at Freddy's. It was late and we were the only ones inside. You like Freddy's? I love Freddy's. The special part of Freddy's that intrigued me is the man that the chain is built around, World War II hero and patriot Freddy Simon. His is the quintessential American story of values and hard work, and the chain proudly celebrates his life in photos displayed in their restaurants. That Midwestern work ethic was crafted years before Freddy's opened its doors in 2002. Born in 1925, Freddy Simon grew up in a farm outside of Wichita, Kansas. After finishing high school in 1943, he followed the lead of his three older brothers and enlisted in the Army at the height of World War II. Freddy wanted to be a fighter pilot, but after learning that he was colorblind, was assigned to the 1st Cavalry Division. He trained at Fort Riley, Kansas, and also in New Zealand, and fought the Japanese in the Philippines. Simon served with honors as a Browning Automatic Rifleman in numerous campaigns throughout the region for 20 months and was awarded many medals and ribbons for his heroic actions, including the Purple Heart and the Bronze Star for Valor. Despite being wounded by an exploding Japanese artillery shell in Manila and watching his comrades die, Simon returned to combat in the 1st Cavalry Division, which he called one of the finest in World War II. The Japanese artillery shell fell not too far from me and knocked me to the ground. Uh, I lost several good buddies, but I survived. I just went to the medics and then I went back into, into combat. Coming home was about the best, best thing in the world. After being audibly discharged from military duty, Freddie returned to Kansas and pursued an accounting degree at Wichita University under the GI Bill. Freddie married wife Norma Jean in 1947 and they raised five sons and a daughter as Freddie worked hard in the hospitality industry for 46 years to support them. A lifelong dream of Freddie's was to own his own restaurant, something he had to deny while raising his family. Yes, it was a lifelong dream just to have my own restaurant. So in 2002, Freddie's sons Randy and Bill decided to help him realize the dream by opening up Freddie's Frozen Custard Steak Burgers, along with business partner Scott Redler. Well, I thought it was wonderful because they named it after me. <laughs> I'll let you have one guess as to where the first Freddie's was opened. Where else? Wichita, Kansas. You might be surprised to learn that other food chains started here. For example, the first White Castle opened in 1921 on the northwest corner of First and Main in Wichita. The small square hamburgers originally sold for five cents apiece. In 1958, brothers Dan and Frank Carney turned a Wichita beer tavern into a pizza restaurant, and they called it Pizza Hut because the sign on the small building was big enough just for eight letters. It was just the beginning of Pizza Hut, which has about 18,000 restaurants in more than 100 countries. Freddie, who was still working part-time in 2002 at the age of 77, became a celebrity as the new company grew fast. Freddie was participating to a larger extent, so he retired from the wine and liquor business in 2005 to travel to openings and become the full-time spokesperson for the company. He made appearances at the new restaurants popping up throughout the country, signing autographs and cutting the ribbons on many of the new openings, and traveling with his sons as the brand spread nationwide. During the last 25 years of his life, Freddie visited over 100 schools and civic organizations, telling his stories about his service in the war and about the price of freedom. Also after Simon retired, he shared his time and resources with many military and charitable organizations. 
After being intrigued about Freddy's service to our country, I wrote him a letter and sent along several photos for him to sign. He honored my request and son Bill also wrote me a handwritten note. Sadly, Freddy had to bury his son Bill, who died in 2016 after a fight against cancer. He was only 61. Freddy himself passed away on October 25, 2020, at the age of 95. Frederick Louis Freddy Simon was laid to rest in Wichita's Calvary Cemetery next to wife Norma Jean, who passed away two years before. Freddy's family values and patriotism are the foundation of Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers. Freddy will always be remembered for his engaging smile and his, quote, Freddy hugs. On the restaurant's website, one of the quotes attributed to Freddy Simon is this, smile even though times get tough occasionally. It is a proven fact that smiling adds at least seven years to your life. That's my story. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Thank <laughs> you.